Hi everyone, welcome back and not a vlog this time. A few snack recipes that you could try out for iftar or even otherwise too. Paneer lettuce bites, a sweet parcel and mussels in rice balls. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. Beginning with paneer lettuce bites. Keep some water for boiling. Add lettuce. Now if you want you can remove each leaf and put in. I added the whole bunch. Cover and let it boil for 1 or 2 minutes. Then take it out. So this is how the leaf would be, very soft and delicate. Do handle without pressure. Take out each leaf and put in some cold water for 4 to 5 minutes. Now you can use cabbage leaves instead of lettuce. Meanwhile, let's make the filling. Chopping one onion. Heat some olive oil in a pan. Add the chopped onion. Then goes half to one teaspoon of red chilli flakes. Mix well. Chop two or three cloves of garlic and add. Then here I added some chopped parsley. If you don't have it, you can add coriander leaves. Mix and then add half cup crumbled paneer. Now here I have taken paneer just in case you are a vegetarian you could try this out. You can always use chicken or any meat if you like and it would taste equally good. Add a pinch of garam masala powder and a pinch of turmeric powder. Just to mix for 2 minutes and it's done. I did this in small quantity as it was a trial but it was absolutely delicious. Now take each lettuce leaf and slightly slice the middle part to make that area flat. So it'll be easy to wrap. Just be gentle and slowly cut it off. Add a small spoon of the filling and then wrap. While you go, fold in the sides. You don't need anything to make it stick. It will wrap well on its own. Just tuck in the sides and that's it. Do everything the same way. Make sure you haven't overfilled. Now if you want you can have these as such but I slightly tossed it in by placing it in a heated pan adding some olive oil and then just turn it on each side while you cook. Add a pinch of red chilli flakes which is completely optional. Make sure the heat is low, don't burn the lettuce leaves. And it's ready. That's how it'll look on the inside. My kids enjoyed and I'm sure you and your family would. Next is a sweet treat, a sweet parcel. Into a vessel, add 3 4 cup of semolina or rava, roasted or not, it doesn't matter. Then quarter cup of sugar, add 1 1/2 cup of milk, then here I added a few drops of kevra water and a few drops of rose water. You can even add orange blossom. Now you don't have to add all. Any one can be added alone. Or if you don't like these flavors, just simply skip it. It doesn't matter. 
Now keep on stir on very low heat and continue stirring until you get it a little thick. For me it took around 10 minutes on low heat. So this is how you'll need it. Don't keep for more or else when it cools down it'll become very hard. So off the flame and keep aside. Then crush your favorite mix of nuts. Here I took cashews, walnuts and almonds. You can even add the cashews. Again you don't have to go for mixed nuts, even one type is enough. Don't powder it completely. Let there be chunks so that you get a little bite of it. Now onto your baking tray, place a baking sheet. You can use phyllo sheets. Here I've used spring roll sheets. I have homemade recipe for both, so do check it out if you need them. Spread some melted butter or ghee. Spread a spoon of the nuts in the middle. Add dollops of the semolina mix. Now you won't be able to spread it, so add small dollops on the nuts. Sprinkle some granulated sugar, which is optional too. Then add some mozzarella cheese. Now fold from four corners as shown. Spread some more ghee or butter on top. Preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, and then bake for 20 minutes or until crisp. Just for a ceiling for the parcels, I spread some mozzarella cheese on the top center on each one. You can drizzle some sugar syrup while having it. So I made a syrup by heating half cup sugar with quarter cup of water and a few lemon drops. Heat until the sugar is melted, and you get a sticky texture on your fingers. Serve warm by drizzling warm sugar syrup on top. It's soft and smooth with a crunch, and will melt in your mouth. Next is a spicy one with mussels. For this, I have taken seven to eight cleaned mussels. To this, add one and a half teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, some salt, and one or two teaspoons of coconut oil. Mix well and marinate for ten minutes. To make the rice dough, it's same as how I had shown to make the rice rotis. I'm boiling one and quarter cup of water. This is for one cup rice flour. Add salt. Now that's one cup rice flour. When the water boils, add rice flour and mix. Then reduce the flame to low and make sure there is no flour remaining without getting mixed. Cover for 10 to 15 minutes. For the masala, I'm grinding around 8 to 10 shallots, 4 to 5 cloves of garlic, a small piece of ginger, and 3 to 4 green chilies. Heat a kadai, add some coconut oil, and just fry the mussels for 2 to 3 minutes. Take it out and into the same oil add the ground mixture and sauté well. Add a few curry leaves, fresh or dried. Then a pinch of garam masala powder. Then mix for one or two minutes, and then add the mussels. Mix for two minutes again, and it's done. Now knead this, adding some water each time when you feel the dough is sticking to your hands. Here I'm keeping it simple, but to get an extra taste, you can add a ground paste of some coconut, fennel seeds, and few shallots. It'll give that authentic taste. Knead well until soft. Make small balls and keep it ready.
spread some oil on your palm or even water can do stuff in each muscle with an extra masala and shape it into balls or your desired shape I rolled it into spindle shapes. Now this is the shell. I kept each one on this shell to make it easy to place while steaming and serving. Now there is an authentic recipe using the shell but here I got it half so I couldn't make that. You need the complete shell for that. Instead of mussels you can do the same with prawns which would be equally tasty. Steam this for 10 to 15 minutes and then serve. And that's for today's video. Do try out these recipes and email me your pictures. Would love to hear your feedback. See you soon with another one. Until then, take care. Assalamualaikum.